Sound can travel through air, it can travel through water or through uh, solid bodies. Um, and it can cross these borders between, uh, these, between these media. Um, for example, imagine you're in a pool and it's very crowded, many children scream and yelling, it's really, really loud. As soon as you dive and your ears are underwater, it's getting much more quiet. It's not completely quiet, but it's about like many, like about 60 decibels or so softer. So it's much softer there. So why is it? Because the sound waves, most of the sound energy is reflected at the surface of the, of the water. And only a very little amount of, of, of sound energy goes into into the water um, and then you can hear this underwater. So every time you have a, a barrier between different media like between air and liquid um, or between air and solid bodies much of the energy of the sound energy is reflected and is not is not transmitted. Another example for this would be um, a, a wall not a heavy wall but a, but a thin wall and people on the other side of the wall are talking. You, yes you can hear this but you can hear this much softer. And the sound is also different. It's not only softer, but it's also damped. It's kind of muffled. <laughs> the voices are a bit like that. Um, so you might not really understand. You, yes, you hear its, 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 its language, its voice, but you might not really understand it. So it's, first of all, it's softer. And um, at the same time, the frequencies are changed. So the high frequencies are damped and the low frequency they pass on much easier. When we look at, at fetuses, um, it, is, it is astonishing to hear that they can hear uh, quite early. Um, they start hearing at about like the 20th week of pregnancy. So from the middle of the pregnancy on, they are able to hear. Another thing which is astonishing that the, um, the inner ear, the cochlea, has reached its final size that in, at week 20. So the fetus is like this, um, but the inner ear has the adult size. It doesn't grow anymore. Um, so from that time on, the fetuses are able to hear. Now then we can we can we can ask, well, what do they hear? Uh, what's the the sound environment um, in the uterus? There's much much sound there, but most of the sound is quite soft. Why is it sound from the outside, um, the body? Most of that sound is attenuated, and only the low frequencies they enter the uterus. Um, most of the high frequencies are reduced. So the, the sound, yes, it enters um, the body, but it's, it's muffled, it's softer and it's muffled. Um, this is why, uh, this, this is because, well, the, 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 the fetus is kind of swimming in water. So, and, and most of the sound energy is, is reflected and doesn't enter it. Another source of, um, of sound uh, is the mother, of course. It's breathing, it's talking, um, it's, it's the heartbeat, for example, um, and, and uh, the digestive system makes sound as well. So this is the sound environment uh, we have in the uterus. So it's not totally quiet. Um, there, yes, there is sound and um, uh, the fetus can hear this and it's also important that they hear it. So they begin to train their auditory system already when they're not, when they're not born, when they're, when they're in, the, in the womb. <laughs>